Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're going to show you three different card stores that I visited last month. First up in West Virginia is Famous Baseball Cards. And this is the second time I actually tried to go to the store. The first time I was down in West Virginia, I stopped by and they were closed. Check out these prices on the 2019 Series 2 packs. They've got jumbo packs and they also have hobby packs there. So I bought every single Series 2 pack that they had in their store at those great prices. They've got stuff from 2016, 2017, 2018. Stuff you don't really see on shelves anywhere and uh, is quite honestly kind of expensive now on eBay to pick up and all at very good prices. I would have bought way, way more than I did as I, I'm just going to kind of take you for a little walk around here. You see up on the top of the shelf, they got some 1981 Don Ross and Fleer. I would have bought way, way more, but unfortunately they only accepted cash when I was there. So uh, I only had about $200 cash on me. So uh, I had to leave the rest for you guys. You can see a whole bunch of other old wax boxes up there. And the owner there said, if I had come maybe about a year ago, he had way, way more wax boxes of old stuff. But, you know, with the way things have been going in the industry, everybody's buying old wax nowadays. So many different sets, singles. They've got stuff in the showcases as well, as you see down here. And uh, another thing that I picked up there was a 95 score box for $25. I'll show you that as well. I did that in a throwback Thursday a couple weeks ago for Mr. Corey T. Also in the middle of the store, they've got a whole bunch of rack packs from the Junk Wax era. 1990 Donruss 88 score is in there. There's the quote-unquote Junk Wax boxes. They ranged from, I think they were about $10 to $30, depending on what you wanted back there. And he said the more that you get, the better the price will be. And if we take a look over here, there's some grab bags. I didn't buy any of those because I put all of my money into those Series 2 packs from 2019. They have junk wax packs there. Not so junky anymore. Those 89 Donrusses are kind of appealing now. And then they have a whole bunch of sets as well. So famous sports cards and coins down in West Virginia. If you're ever down that way, headed south maybe, make sure you check them out. Our next stop is 716 Sports Cards. This is a store that I found on the way to Syracuse, New York, and it's kind of right near Dave and Adams up near the Buffalo area. These 10 cent boxes, let me tell you, we got there with about 15 minutes to spare. Uh, Heather and I stopped in on the way to the Wildcat Pizza Pub in Syracuse. And unfortunately, I wish I would have had way more time here because those 10 cent boxes were absolutely nuts. Wait till you see the cards that I pulled out of there. There was Kyle Lewis rookie cards just hanging out in there. I picked up as many as I could grab in about, look. I don't know, I looked through for like five or 10 minutes and then I was like, you know what, I, got, I have to hurry up and get a quick little walk around here and show you what they have in this store as well. Lots of singles there. I also picked up from the showcase, I picked up the Griffey Jr. rookie card from 89 Tops Traded. I also picked up a Pete Alonso for a loved one rookie card. They've got a whole bunch of Bowman Blasters from 2020. Uh, just a ton, absolute ton of those. Probably a good, oh, I don't know, 80 or more Bowman Blasters. Also the Mega Boxes. They've got the value packs there as well. You see some Series 2 down there. Now, I visited this store. I think it was National Baseball Card Day, so right around August 10th is when I was in. And my third and final stop in this baseball card store journey is Dave and Adams. Actually, this was like the fifth stop. There was two card stores that I didn't take any video in because I didn't really see uh, too much to kind of showcase. So this is the fifth and final stop, third and final stop of the video. Dave and Adams, by the way, is one of the big three online baseball card retailers. You got Steel City Collectibles, you got Blowout Cards, and you got Dave and Adams. Those guys sell in mass, mass quantities uh, and bulk. You can buy cases, uh, hobby boxes, blaster boxes, whatever you want, you can buy it online. And they have a ton of great deals in their physical store as well, as I'm showing you some of their uh, products here. They've got tables and tables just filled with all kinds of stuff. Over here, we have some hanger boxes of 2019 Donruss for $8.95 a piece, which is pretty nice since that's less than the retail price if you would find those at Walmart. They've got some team sets there as well. For only $4.95 each, some Yankees team sets from 2020, Red Sox, Angels, uh, looks like Rays, all the, you know, the 
popular teams are there. Whole bunch of blaster boxes and mega boxes over on this shelf. You can see it looks like that Gypsy Queen from 2019 is pretty popular. Only one box of that left. We look over here, we see a whole bunch of hockey, which I wasn't going to buy because I don't collect hockey cards or do anything with that. But if we walk around here, we'll see more baseball cards. A bunch of blaster boxes of 2019 Diamond Kings. You see Don Russ again on sale. They've got leather and lumber there. Uh, they have optic, pretty much uh, everything you want. I should have picked up some of those uh, collector's boxes for Big League. I don't think I've ever opened those with the action figures inside. They also have Prism. And it was National Baseball Card Day on the day that I went into Dave and Adam. So they hooked it up with a whole bunch of extra baseball card day packs, which I'll open up for you in a second. I'm going to take you now. I'll show you their showcase here. There's some great singles in the showcase as well. This is all their baseball card section. I'm going to take you through everything I picked up at these three baseball card stores. We'll open some packs. We'll look at all the singles that I bought from the 10 cent box as well. If you're ever up in the Buffalo area, make sure you check out Dave and Busters. Make sure you check out 716. And if you swing way down to West Virginia, Make sure you check out Famous Cards. All great stores. That's why I want to showcase them. Now let's go and show you what I picked up. All right, everybody. We are back from the baseball card stores. And look at what I found at Famous Sports Cards. 2019 Top Series 2. Arguably the hottest product out there right now from the past couple years. Might even surpass 2018 Tops Update, especially after Tatis wins the NL Most Viable Player Award, as I think he might be the favorite right now for that. But we picked up all of these for only $5 a pack, which is like what they were when they first came out, I feel like. Nowadays, a box of these on eBay, recently sold, sells for $300, maybe even a little more, which comes out to $12.50 sets of packs, so more than half off the going rate. And over here, we have the 2019 Series 2 Jumbo Packs. These go for $500 a box, uh, which works out there's 10 packs per box. That's $50 a pack that this is going for now, and they were $25 per pack at Famous. Now, I only got about 40% of the box. I have four out of the 10 packs that remain in there. So I bought everything that they had. I would have bought way more there, but like I said, uh, the owner there was only accepting cash at the time. He said if his son was there, his son could do PayPal and stuff like that. Uh, so unfortunately, I would have bought way more. There's all, you saw on the shelves a whole bunch of cool stuff there from like 2017 Heritage. You can't even find that anymore. Uh, on any like uh, and any LCS shelves at least so some great stuff down there in West Virginia we'll open a couple of these packs here in a minute but first let's check out my singles and stuff from National Baseball Card Day all right so I stopped off at 716 Sports Cards and Collectibles it's near Buffalo it's in Orchard Park there is their address I talked to the worker there he was a really cool kid he'd heard of the channel before and uh, let me film in there so I appreciate that these were 10 cents a piece, and like I said, I didn't have much time. We got there like 15 minutes until they closed, and I kind of felt bad. I didn't want to make the, the kid wait around for me, to, and there were so many 10-cent boxes. There, I don't know, like a dozen 5,000-count boxes just filled with rookie cards. So I picked up a bunch of rookie cards. You never know who's going to be the best or the next big rookie. There's Jesus Lusardo rookie card for 10 cents. Dustin May rookie card for 10 cents. Kyle Lewis card rookie card. For 10 cents. Uh, Joey Lucchese, 10 cents. Jordan Hicks, 10 cents. They also had some nice vintage cards in there as well. There's a rookie debut for 10 cents. Check out these cool cards here, these vintage cards. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, 1977 tops. Carl Yastrzemski, Steve Carlton, 10 cents a piece, guys. I was going to pass these up. Uh, Ron Guidry, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this may be Guidry's rookie card. I'll have to double check that. There is George Brett, seven, a bunch of 77 tops Hall of Famers for 10 cents a piece. Then we found a Jack Flaherty 83 tops rookie card for 10 cents. They had a whole bunch of holiday cards as well. Carter Keeboom rookie card, Chris Paddock rookie card, Keston Hero rookie card. Yastrzemski, Kevin Vigia. You know that I love my rookie cards. There's Luis Arise, Nick Senzel. Mike Soroka has a nice rookie card right there. Of course, he's hurt for the season, but he's going to be a good one. I almost, uh, I don't know, lost it when I saw Austin Meadows, and I was like, man, how many Austin Meadows or rookie cards are hiding out here? These are all $0.10 cents a piece. 
Um, here's the other team bag. I probably grabbed about, I don't know, 50 rookie cards. So five bucks for all these. You can't really beat that, I don't think, at all. Let's check out the rest of these. So uh, if you like 10 cent cards and rookie cards, you should go there. He said that uh, they kind of cycle through these every so often. So they're always adding new cards to the 10 cent bins. Picked up some veterans as well. There's another Austin Meadows rookie debut card. Soroka Ichiro. The Yarbrough rookie card, Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge. We've got the Franimal, Franmil Reyes, Jordan Alvarez. What's he doing in the 10 cent box? Gavin Lux, I couldn't believe it. Austin Meadows from 2018 update. Jordan Hicks, I almost thought that maybe a, a Soto or Acuna might pop up. You never know. That could happen. Um, it, it would be an absolute surprise, but that could happen. So you always have to look. There's a Will Craig first Bowman, Pirates uh, first round pick a while ago. Nice Austin Meadows card. Another Austin Meadows, really Adames Hicks. Soroka Hicks again, Adames, and another Austin Meadows. So all for 10 cents. Check them out, everybody. 716 Sports Cards if you're ever in the Buffalo area. Make sure you check them out. And also Dave and Adams. Now, I didn't buy anything at Dave and Adams. Uh, they had a ton of blaster box and stuff. Um, but, you know... I, I just I left them there because I already have a, a pretty good inventory of what I needed for Patreon stuff for the month. So they did give me a bunch of these National Baseball Card Day packs. Um, they gave me I think they gave Heather one and and uh, myself one. These other two came from a couple other stores we visited that uh, I chose not to highlight uh, just because you know footage wasn't that great. The uh, maybe their inventory wasn't that great. Their prices weren't that great. So I just decided to kind of can those ones. A couple of Mike Trout cards from Dave and Adams as well. These are the exclusive National Baseball Card Day cards. Check out the back of them. You can see National, uh, I don't know, National TCD. I don't know what that uh, acronym stands for. National Trading Card Day. That's probably what it is. There we go. Mike Trout, look at all that red on the back of his card. Red signifies league leader. Let's check out a couple of these packs. Uh, all right, we got Frankie Lindor, Joey Votto. Well, let's open them up. We got. Let's start with the Blake Snell and see what we can find. I'm not sure how many cards in the National Baseball Card Day set. I think last year it may have been 30. I did buy an entire box of those last year. I'm looking at the back, 27, 26. And these might be sequential. There's Yusei Kikuchi, 25. Buster Posey, 24, Manny Machado, a 23. So they are sequential, so that makes it easy. If you get the checklist, you can tell who's coming up. Uh, if you ever see these online, just uh, look at the top card and look at the checklist, and you will know what cards are behind the Joey Votto, for example. How about Luis Robert, which is card number seven? So if you see Joey Votto on the front of a pack, make sure you grab that one. A nice looking Luis Robert. I love rookie cards and I love Luis Robert, and I don't have this one, so that is definitely going right in the PC. There's Chris Bryant, JD Martinez, and Mr. John Means. And there's the National Baseball Card Day, um, August 8th, it looks like we were there. So over a month ago. Kind of uh, waited to do this video for such a long time. I had so much stuff going on, so many different videos to release. Finally getting around to it today. Hey, Joey Votto, that's great news because there he is, Luis Robert once again. Two Luis Robert cards. Very nice. Uh, Jose Barrios, I don't know, he's, gonna, he's not going to give away. So Lindor and Votto are those packs that you want to pick up on eBay for, I don't know, cheap and get yourself a Luis Robert. Maybe unbeknownst to the seller, I'm sure if they watch these videos now, they'll maybe open them up themselves and keep that Robert. There's Jose Barrios, Christian Yelich, Jorge Alfaro, Cody Bellinger, and how about a Nico Horner autograph in a National Baseball Card Day pack? How about that? Very nice out of 327, Nico Horner. I wasn't expecting that. I should have been expecting it, or at least I should have brought up the possibility of finding an autograph. I feel like we may have found one or two autos last year. I feel like I opened like 100 packs of these last year. I bought a bunch of them uh, at a flea market. And there we go, a big hit Nico Horner rookie card auto out of 327. Very nice, and that is a nice surprise. All right, so let's finish things off. I'm probably not going to open all these because, as you know, um, I love this set so much, but I I feel like I, I would like to pull a tattoo, so I'll open a couple of these packs, and I'll tell you what we'll do. We've been doing a lot of giveaways this week, and all those giveaways will be done tomorrow in our 2020 Allen and Ginter live stream. We've got 
two uh, 2019 boxes, a hanger box and a blaster box to give away. We've got an Illusions basketball box to give away. We've got a 2019 blaster of Allen and Ginter to give away. We have these piles of cards from our mystery boxes to give away. Three different stacks of cards. So make sure you join us for that. Uh, if you would like to win any of those, make sure you just subscribe to this channel and leave a comment on all those videos to get yourself entered. So I'll tell you what, I'll give away a pack of 2019 Series 2. It's a hobby pack, and uh, maybe you will get a Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll just throw that in with all the different giveaways. Let's open a jumbo pack of these bad boys right now. This cost me 25 bucks for this, and I want to find a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card that I can put my PSA stack, the small stack, but it's a PSA stack that I'm starting to work on to send off. And how about that? I get the hit in my very first pack. There's three hits per box. There's one manufactured relic, one relic, and one autograph in every jumbo box. And all right, so this is a, I paid 25, a $50 pack. Let's see if we can get our money's worth back here. It looks like it's going to be a manufactured one. There's Jalen Beeks, not a one of one this time because I already have that one. I missed the one of one. I actually pulled it out of a pack from a flea market and didn't realize it because I was filming the video at like 2 a.m. and I was like uh, running on fumes. There's Alex Verdugo, future star card. We're looking for a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. That's what I want the most. The second card I want the most is going to be, uh, I'll go with Aloy Jimenez rookie card. I'd also like to find Pete Alonso and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. short print rookie card. There's Giancarlo Stanton. That one is numbered out of 2019. There's the hit. It's Alex Bregman manufactured patch, which, uh, I don't know, at least it's numbered out of 25. So that's kind of cool. Makes it worth a little bit more, but not too much. Evolution of the technology of MLB. We got a Mookie Betts, Charlie Culberson. Come on, Tatis, where are you? Um, Tyler Malley, David Dahl, Brad Hand, um, Adam Simber. I can't remember what the indicator is for Tatis. Usually these cards are collated in such a way that you'll know what's coming up. A couple cards in advance. Luke Voigt having a great season this year. All right, so that's, that's that pack. Let's try a hobby pack now. And see if we can find any of those great rookie cards. I'll tell you what, this product has just gone up so much. Did you know a hanger box of this now? You know, a hanger box you could could have bought last summer for ten dollars. Those are selling for fifty dollars by themselves right there. A hanger box of 2019 Topps Series 2. A Roberto Clemente 1956 Topps card. Very nice card right there. That's obviously a reprint, but an iconic card for sure. Like that one. Talks about the same headshot that graced his rookie card the, in 55 is also on 56. I'll have to check that out. That's actually kind of interesting. I guess they didn't have too many uh, photographers out there taking pictures back in the 50s. Uh, looks like, man, I want to find at least one good rookie before I end this video from the 2019 Series 2. I mean, we already found two Luis Roberts and we found Nico Horner autograph. I mean, that's pretty darn good, but let's, uh, let's find at least one of those big four. Hopefully I don't have to chew through the entire lot of cards here to find it there's a hunter renfro out of one full out of 150 it's a gold stamped 150 albert pujols john hicks kyle freeland eduardo rodriguez and garrett cole was the last one another pack up that was that pack was five dollars down the drain nothing crazy in there kurt suzuki how about a Jackie Robinson, 1953? That's a great-looking card. We've got to do a, a, a set break again. I haven't done one of those in a while. Pick up, like, a 53 set or a, something. I'd probably like to do a 50 set next. We already did a 1960 top set. Oh, well, probably almost two months ago now. Time for another one. So, man, we're having some bad luck here with 2019 Series 2. Got some bum packs. Let's see if we can change our luck around. That's a Pat Velika and... Eric Fetty out of uh, 150, not actually out of 150, but the gold foil 150 stamp. Dustin Fowler, Andrew Triggs, and Daniel Norris. Three bum packs in a row. Looking for at least one great rookie. Can we find it? Jose Briseño is a rookie, but that's not it. Same thing goes for Aramis Garcia. Uh, Josh James is the best of those three, in my opinion. There's Zach Eflin Gold out of 2019. Zach Greinke. There's Anthony Rizzo. And, hey, we got the Pete Alonso rookie card. Very nice. So, pack fresh. Just pulled 
Oh, you could probably send this off right now and probably get a PSA. Oh, I don't know, maybe a nine on it. Doesn't look perfect to me. That top left corner is a little, I don't know, a little iffy. But still pretty darn cool. Pete Alonso rookie card. Eh, I'm not going to send that one off. I'll put it over with my Luis Robert cards. Let's do one more at least. It's just, it's so tough when you have such a nice product sitting in front of you. You just want to keep opening them up. And especially with the chance of finding a Tatis Jr. Uh, there's a Whitey Ford 150. You've been finding a lot of those 150 gold foils. A nice Yachty Molina 84. We have Shohei Otani there. Yanni Diaz and Sweet Victory. Boston wins the World Series title. Oh, let's do one more. Got to find a Tatis. I don't want to open all these up, but, I, but uh, all right. Uh, well, here we go. We've got a Carlos Toki? Tosi? I don't even know how to say his name. He hasn't really made too much of an impact. I haven't even really ever heard of him. 84. All right, this is this is it. I'll do I'll do two more packs and that's it. Looking for the Tatis. I feel like uh, out of these packs, um, I don't know. I've opened like six, five or six of these, and I've only pulled the Pete Alonso so far. Do we have an autograph? Maybe something's upside down here, and it oh, it's not going to be an autograph. It's an Arizona Diamondbacks team card. Uh, looks like they just wanted to fake me out there. We got a Tony Gwynn Players of the Decade card. Greatest players card there. Man, I really wanted to find a Tatis pack fresh. Walker Bueller gold cup card. All right, this is the last one. Then we'll get on out of here. I'll save the rest of these packs for a future opening. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Again, I've tossed this into the giveaway pile. If you'd like to win this pack, which probably has the Tatis, the way things have been going in this hobby box opening video so far. If you'd like to get this pack or be entered for it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn your subscription to the public in your settings page so I can see that you're subscribed. Like this video and leave a comment, and this will be prize number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that we're giving away tomorrow. Check us out for Alan and Ginter tomorrow. We'll be live probably around 7 p.m. Eastern time or so. Uh, we'll probably do three or four cases tomorrow, and then we'll do the rest of the cases a few days later on because... Uh, that's a little too many cases to do in just one sitting. All right, we have a Ken Griffey Jr. Faces of the Franchise card. Looks like I'm not going to get my Tatis. Ian Happ having an awesome season this year. Uh, Adam Simber and Cody Bellinger and John Carlos Stan. So let's do one more pack. This is the last pack for sure. We have Dakota Hudson. Carl Edwards Jr., Ruggio Dor. There's a Mookie Betts. By the way, there's one autograph possibly in this box. Uh, it wasn't, I, I mean, it wasn't filled up, so uh, it's probably gone already. And uh, another bum pack, unfortunately. Um, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to, I bet you the Tatis is in that pack that I'm giving away. So let's do a pack of Jumbo. Let's. This is it. Last pack for sure. And I'm going to get these out of the way because if I keep looking at them, I'm just going to keep opening them. This is the last pack. Actually, I don't want this one. Let's go ahead and pick. Uh, let's switch it up a little bit. I feel like two hits back to back. Probably not going to happen with that manufacturer pack. Switch that up. You ever do that when you were a kid? Like you have a pack and then you just like change your mind. You have to go and pick another pack. I remember when I was a kid, I'd always have to go from the bottom of the box because I felt like the, the packs on top were like defective or didn't have any good cards in there. Obviously, it was all random. But I was very superstitious as a kid when I was picking out cards. Nick Shufo, watch that be my best rookie from this pack. Yusei Kikuchi rookie card. We got a Josh Rogers rookie. Lots of rookies popping up here, but not uh, any of the big ones that I'm after. Uh, let's see what else. Peter O'Brien. There it is! Fernando Tatis Jr. in the last pack! <laughs> I swear this was going to be the last pack that I was going to do, and there he is! And Vladimir Grove Jr. short print right after it! How about that? Thank goodness I put that other fat pack back. Back-to-back -back hits, Fernando Tatis Jr. Pack fresh along with the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. short print card. Back-to-back. -back. I'm going to take these and throw them in my, not throw them, gently place them in my PSA pile to prepare for PSA. Once I get, I'm not going to send it until I have a whole bunch of cards so I can get the bulk rate. But that is awesome. Tatis and Vladdy Jr. rookie cards. That's what I was after the entire time. And I just kept going and going. And uh, we got it. Tatis and Guerrero. We're only missing Aloy Jimenez. And we'll pull all four good rookies. 
Um, but that's okay if he's not in here because I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm uh, PSA 10 Tatis. I don't even know what it goes for anymore. I feel like it's it, last time I checked was 200. It's probably way more than that now, especially when he wins the uh, MVP. And who knows? He might be the next Mike Trout. If, uh, he's so young and just so talented and just crushing the ball. Let's check out the rest of this pack. What a nice, nice pack. That was worth the $25 for this pack for sure. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I I really like to open these cards today. Lots of good pulls. We got the two Luis Robert rookie cards, the Nico Horner surprise auto, and of course the Tatis Jr. rookie card along with the Guerrero short print rookie card as well. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment uh, to get in on this. You can tell me, I don't know, what your favorite card was from this video or what your favorite shop was from the video of the three that I showed. And uh, we'll use a random comment picker to choose somebody from all of the different videos that I've posted within the last week to win all of these different prizes. Just make sure you subscribe because I always feel bad when we pull a winner and then I go to their page and uh, I don't see that you're subscribed. And maybe you are, but you're not subscribed publicly. So it has to be proven to me that you are. So make sure you switch those on. I'll see you tomorrow around 7 p.m. Eastern time for the Allen and Ginter live case break also. Uh, I hope to be able to put up a new release preview video for you sometime in the afternoon tomorrow. So have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.